Hi everybody and welcome to IGB Kids Club. I hope everyone's had a good week. I know that some of you will have been back at school this week. I hope it's been fun. Last week we listened to a story about someone at school, didn't we? Can you remember who it was? It was a little bear called Puddles, wasn't it? I really like reading and listening to stories. Do you like stories? There's lots of different reasons for telling stories. Sometimes we tell stories for fun because they're nice to listen to. Can you think of any other reasons that we tell stories? Well, sometimes we tell stories to help the people listening understand something. Or, if we're the ones listening to the story, sometimes stories can help us think about something in a different way or learn something new. If you like reading stories at home, have a think now about your favourite one. What happens in your favourite story? Does it help you understand anything or think about something? Or maybe your favourite story teaches you something or reminds you of something. Jesus used stories too. And sometimes when we listen to the stories Jesus told, it can help us think about things differently. We're going to listen to one of the stories Jesus told today and then we'll think about what it makes us think about. So, Jesus' story is about two people who each decided to build a house. The two people went out looking for the perfect place to build the house. Now the first person, that's this one, was very wise. They thought carefully about the kind of house they wanted to build. They wanted a house that was strong. If a strong wind came or heavy, or heavy rains came, they didn't want the house to break up or wash away. This person knew that the most important part of a house is the foundation. The foundation is the first thing that's built. So this is a picture of the foundation of the house or a house. So it's the bit that goes at the bottom of the house, the bit that you build first. And the foundation has to be sturdy and strong to make the house sturdy and strong. So the wise person looked everywhere and then eventually they found the perfect place. A huge flat rock. The rock could be the foundation for the house. So the wise person dug and dug and it was hard work in the rock, but they chipped the rock away until it was the perfect size for the house. Then they built the house on the rock. After they were finished, they lived in the house. Many times storms came to the house. The winds blew and the rains came, but the wise person sat comfortably in the house. They didn't worry about the storms because the house was built on a rock. But hang on a minute, the story started with two people, didn't it? So what happened to the other person? Well, this person was a little bit foolish. They didn't think carefully about the kind of house they should build. They just found a nice flat place and started building. They built the house on sand. Uh-oh. The foundation kept slipping and sliding in the sand, but the foolish person didn't care. They just wanted to build the house as quickly and easily as possible. When the foolish person finished the house, 
they moved in. Guess what happened when the first storm came? The winds blew and the rains came down and the foolish person's house fell apart. It fell apart because it didn't have a strong foundation. So that's the end of Jesus's story. Hmm, what do you think about the story? What was different about the two houses? Which house do you think was better? The house on the rock was stronger, wasn't it? It was safe in the storm. So, does this story get you thinking about anything? I think Jesus used this story to get people thinking. So what does it make you think about? For me, I know that my house where I live is built on strong foundations because that's how most houses are built these days. So it doesn't really make me think about my house. I've never built a house before. But it does make me think about the other things that I build in my life. I build friendships and I build hopes for my future. Some people build families and others build communities. Some people build careers and jobs. So only a few people build houses, but we all build something, don't we? We build our lives, just like the people in the story built houses. So this story makes me think about what I build my life on. Is the foundation of my life strong? The foundation of my families, my friendships, my future, is it all built on something strong? Well, that's a very big question, isn't it? And there isn't just one answer for what makes us strong or what makes the foundation of our life strong. There's lots and lots of different answers. But for me, knowing that God loves me really helps me. And I think it makes the foundations of my life stronger. It makes me feel safe when I remember that God really loves me and really cares about me and always, always will. What about you? What does the story help you to think about? Maybe you want to think about the things that we build, like I did. Or maybe the story makes you think about something totally different, which is great too. I'm sure that the person you're watching this video with, with would love to hear your ideas. Okay, it's time for activity time, so I'll see you there. In activity time this week, we're going to have a go at retelling the story and we're going to use a model that we're going to make. So we're going to make two houses and we'll put one on the rock and one in the sand and then we're going to have a go at simulating our own storm. So the things you'll need are some paper cups or polystyrene cups and if you haven't got paper cups at home you can just use a piece of white paper to make the shape of a cup. You'll need some felt tips, a glue stick, some paper, some scissors and then you'll need a tray, some sugar. What do you think this might be used to make in the story? So the sugar is going to make our sand and then you'll need a rock, a nice sturdy rock for the wise person to build their house upon. And when you've finished, your house is going to look like this. So let's have a go at making the house together first. So I'll just move that out the way. So you need to take your paper cup and we're just going to start drawing the different things on the house. So we're going to do, well, you can actually do yours however you want to. But I'm going to do two windows. 
which I'm going to colour in yellow to make it look all nice and cosy inside. And then I'm going to do a door in blue, I think. So there's my door and then I'm going to use a black marker or felt tip to go round the outlines. I'm going to do the windows. And the door like that. And then I think our house would look good with some plants and flowers around the edge, wouldn't it? So I'm just going to get the green and I'm going to do some grass. Around the edge. But really, you can decorate your house however you want to. And then I'm just going to add some flowers, maybe some little tulips. There we go. So there's the house. And now we're going to make the roof of our house. So for this, you need to get your piece of paper. It could be colored paper, it could be white, it's up to you. And you could decorate your house, your roof first if you wanted to. And then you need to cut a kind of rectangle out of your paper and twist it round so that it forms like a hat shape like this. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue in the corner here so that it sticks. And then fold it round to make a cone. Then just so that our cone is the right shape, we're going to fold it in half like that and just cut a kind of semicircle or a curved edge like that, just to tidy it up a little bit. So there we go. And our roof of our house is obviously going to sit on top like that. So there's, and you can stick it down at home if you want to so it doesn't fall off. So there's our second house. So now I've got two houses to tell my story with. So let's just get the tray. Okay, so in the story, there were two houses, weren't there? And one of the houses was built on rock, like this one. So I've gone into my garden and I found a nice piece of stone for my house. And I've actually glued this house down, you can see. So it's really nice and sturdy because that's what the wise builder did. Well, they didn't glue the house onto the rock, but they built it really sensibly and wisely. So they will have dug it into the rock so that it was stuck firmly onto the rock. Uh, but then the foolish builder, he didn't, did he? He just wanted to make his house as quickly as possible. So I'm just going to use the brown sugar to build up some sand. There we go. And the foolish builder just wanted it to be really quick and easy. So he just popped his house on the sand and just built it as quickly as possible. So in a minute we're going to have a go at simulating a storm. So we've set the scene for our story and we've got the two houses, the one nice and sturdy on the rock 
and the other one on the sand, which was built so quickly that it wasn't very strong. So what we're going to do now is have a go at simulating the storm. So we're going to make a storm. So I've got a squirty bottle with some water in and it's going to be like it's raining and we're going to see what happens to our two houses. Can you see? Uh-oh. What's happening to our houses? That's a lot of rain, isn't it? And what else do you, do you get in a storm? You get wind, don't you? It said the winds were howling. So how do you think we can make the wind? We could have a go at blowing on it, couldn't we? So I'm going to use my breath to see what happens when I blow on the houses like a strong wind. So here we go, deep breath. <gasps> <laughs> don't think my breath is strong enough. Maybe we should get a hairdryer to practice making the winds of the storm. But this house definitely isn't looking very strong, is it? It's starting to fall over. But what about the other house? Maybe we could have a go at making the winds by shaking and raining. Oh no, can you see what's happening? Oh, and it's fallen over. <laughs> so see if you can have a go at home at retelling the story and seeing if you can make a storm and see what happens to your house on the rock and the house on the sand. I hope you had fun and activity time. Now it's time for prayer time. So let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for the stories you told, which are now recorded in the Bible. Thank you for the way that stories can help us think about things in different ways. Please help us to think about the story that we heard today and what it can teach us or show us or make us think about. In all of our learning and thinking, please help us to remember that you really, really love us and that you always will. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, everyone, that's all we've got time for today. So I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.